using language in a clear way for children with autism. If you've ever heard behavioral therapists speaking with children with autism, you may have noticed that they speak with very clear and minimalistic language. Some people may even think it's too robotic. So why do they do it? A language impairment is one of the main criteria to receive a diagnosis of autism. Many children may have difficulties not only expressing themselves, but also understanding what other people say. Adults may think that the child is just ignoring them, but in reality, the child may not understand what the adult is saying. Imagine going to a foreign country with people speaking a language that you do not understand and having no means of figuring out what the people are saying. If someone says, hey you, come here in their language, would you respond? If you don't understand what they are saying, you probably would not respond. This is how your child might be feeling. The next time you try to give instructions to your child, think about this and try some of the techniques we've outlined below. First, use clear and minimalistic language. Say, come here instead of, hey Johnny, will you please come here now? Second, to increase the likelihood that your child will pay attention to you and hear what you are saying, try the following strategies. Give your instruction while you are physically near your child, i.e., next to them. Crouch down close to your child so your voice and face are closer to him, increasing the chance of him looking at you. Physically touch your child to bring his attention to you. Talk to him about what he is engaged in before giving your instruction. For example, if your child is playing with Legos, you can first make a comment about the activity such as, I really like what you built. If needed, interrupt his play if he is engaged in a highly preferred toy or activity before giving your instruction. When these strategies are combined, they may help increase the likelihood that your child will understand you and follow through with what you instructed them to do.